Yo YouTube, what's up? It's Ward Justin, bringing you guys a brand new video. So today is my last official day of high school, guys. Just took one final this morning, math final, and I'm completely done. So yeah, exciting. I'm about to go meet Josh at the gym because we're gonna go hit a back day. So see you guys in my kitchen with my pre-workout snack. Pre-workout, we got my signature bagel with some sun butter on it. So it is important to get in some carbs and fat before you work out. Fat helps your body utilize the carbs for longer workout sessions. Then also I have Gorilla Mode Nitric Mango Peach. Never tried this one, so get a little taste test. It's pretty good. Honestly, I think that's my favorite flavor of Gorilla. Mango Peach, guys, it's fire. Anyway, so I'm switching to stem free for the next 30 days, the end of the cut, because I think there's 27 days left of the cut. And the reason for that is because I'm adding in a little secret supplement, secret supplement, which I will be explaining after I work out. So make sure you guys keep watching for that because it is going to help me get even more shredded, guys. Even though I'm not like super shredded, but no, we're getting there, 30 days left. Unfortunately, with like graduation, well, I guess fortunately, cause like I'm excited that I'm graduating, but there's like obviously a lot of eating and stuff like that. So it's gonna be hard to stay on track with the diet, but we're gonna do it, boys. We're gonna stay on track. We're gonna get shredded. Summer shredding, only 30 days left. We've already made it this far, boys, so can't quit now. So yeah, before the workout, I'm also gonna show you guys a little physique update it's gonna be from tomorrow though because I didn't film it this morning because I woke up and just went to school to take my final so so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the workout I'm gonna eat this push out bush <laughs> We experienced that back workout in like 30 minutes and Josh had a migraine too and he has a baseball game. So we're pumped. Josh, it was good seeing you. Good seeing you, man. I'm gonna get back in there and do some cardio because you know, shredding season. Yeah. Josh is back in the 140s. He's getting shredded. Yeah. Good day's work. Thanks for filming, bro. Of course. Comment, thanks Josh for filming. That's what Seuss does for his filmer. So yeah. I gotta do it for you. Touching. Yeah. See you guys later. All right guys, so post-workout, I'm gonna be having some 90 calorie rice cake bites, you know, gotta restore the glycogen in the muscles. And then also one scoop of Formula One mint cookie something protein powder, 20 grams, post-workout. Cheers, boys. So I kind of messed up. I have prom on Saturday, and so I scheduled a haircut for Friday. But unfortunately, I didn't realize that when I scheduled my haircut, I have graduation practice. So I tried to reschedule. The place I go is completely booked until like after prom, like two weeks, but they have another location. So I'm going to be going there today. And they had like one guy who had like completely open, could have gone anytime. Hopefully, I don't know, that might be a bad sign. I don't know, guys. This is how the hair is kind of looking. It's a little long. just want to get kind of cleaned up for prom because I kind of want to grow it out this summer a little bit. I had it longer before, so I kind of want to grow it out again. So I'll see you guys when I get back from that. It might look kind of trash or it could look sexy. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. But yeah, like I said, guys, I was like 30 minutes just back. Then I did 30 minutes of elliptical after. That's what I've been doing for cardio, just to kind of kind of get the leanness going, expedite the fat loss process. So yeah, hopefully this guy doesn't mess me up for prom, because that would be kind of tough, because it's my only prom I ever get, guys. Last year, I was a junior. We didn't get prom. This year, we get like a COVID prom. I don't know. I'm just trying to look good for the pictures, boys.
All right, guys, so here's how the haircut looks before prom. Looks pretty sharp. Guy was pretty good, so might have to go back to him. Anyway, I have my salad right here, so the macros for that should be like right here. So you guys can see that, pretty low cal, and then I'm also having a protein bar. So a quick little disclaimer before I get into the supplements I take, I just wanna start off by saying that I'm natural, obviously. I mean, I had a pretty good transformation, but I feel like it's kinda of easy to tell I'm natural. I've never taken any PEDs, anything basically hormonal at all, so yeah, there's that. So throughout my bulk and my cut, just basically year round, I take creatine monohydrate. It's pretty self-explanatory, like pretty much everyone that I know that lifts takes creatine now. According to this, it just increases power and strength, ATP regeneration and muscle cell volume. What I heard whenever I first started taking it was it helped you get like an extra one or two reps. From my understanding, it just helps your muscles retain water so then they're able to grow. That's kind of what my interpretation of it is. And then also I take a vitamin D supplement. So basically I live in a place that gets cold in the winter. I don't go outside much. So I take this year round just because I feel like a lot of people are vitamin D deficient. So it's good to get in a nice little supplement. Getting into the reason why I'm not taking any stimulant pre-workouts, I'm just sticking to the Gorilla Mode Nitric is because of this. So this is the Gorilla A2 AM fat burner. Basically what a fat burner is essentially is a stimulant. So it has things like um, caffeine, green tea extract, a lot of things that are gonna boost your energy so then you have a greater energy output so then you burn more calories. That's basically what a fat burner is. What's special about this one is it has um, raw usulene in it which basically could possibly help with visceral fat loss. So that could be a benefit of this. But I take this every morning now, 300 milligrams of caffeine so I'm not gonna be taking any caffeine pre-workout. And honestly, this is still less than what I've been taking. I've been probably having like over 500 milligrams of caffeine. So I'm just gonna be having this and like a monster so like gonna tone it down to like 440 and also i have gorilla mode ar so again this is another natural product this is an amino acid l-carnitine basically what it is is an androgen receptor up regulator what that basically does is it's gonna boost your cellular energy so it kind of works as in like using fat as your energy source. Yeah, that's kind of what my research led me to. But yeah, it's just another thing to help. It's like a stimulant. It's gonna help with energy. It's gonna help with expediting more calories. So I'm burning more calories because I'm gonna have more energy by these products. That's basically the supplements that I'm adding in for the last 27 days of the cut. Like I said, this is just an amino acid. This is all natural stuff, nothing um, hormonal or anything like that. So yes, I'm natural if you couldn't tell. I mean, yeah, I look pretty natural. Oh, that's tough. When I have a pump sometimes, nah, I look natural. Again, fat burner, just gonna boost your energy, has a lot of caffeine, has a lot of stimulants to make you do more basically, so then you can burn more calories. So yeah, that has been my new supplement update on the cut. I also had a hip injury, hip slash glute injury. So basically I've been taking this like pain anti-inflammatory medicine to help reduce that. Luckily nothing was torn cause that's what I thought in the beginning. But a side effect of that is water retention. I think the last two weeks of my cut is whenever I'm done with the medicine. I have a feeling that I'm gonna dry out a lot cause I mean, I look lean, but I can definitely tell there's been more water retention since taking it. For the last two weeks guys, I'm gonna dry out. Like I'll look, I'll look sick, I think, I hope plus the fat burners, plus the, the creatine, even though I always take creatine. Guys, we're gonna look, we're gonna look good. I'm gonna eat this salad in the protein bar and I will catch you guys later in my day. I think it looks pretty good though, the haircut. I mean, nah, it's fine. All right guys, so after eating, I'm gonna do an ab workout because usually I do this twice a week and it's Tuesday and I would usually do it Monday and Friday. So we're just gonna do it right now at home. So yeah, starting off guys, we're gonna be doing 10 hanging leg raises. So this is a whole circuit workout. So yeah, I'll take you guys along the workout with me. You guys should try this. It's a really good ab exercise. It really hits all the parts. So yeah, starting off 10 hanging leg raises. Next up, I'm on the floor here. We're gonna do 25 crunches. So after the crunches, you wanna go into 25 Russian twists, 25 each side. And then to finish it off guys, you're gonna do a 45 second plank. Got my little stopwatch ready. And that's gonna be the end of the first round. So you do this three rounds. I'm gonna do that off camera, 
But remember, this workout was 10 hanging leg raises, 25 sit-ups, 25 Russian twists, and then a 45 second plank. So four exercises. If you guys rest like one to two minutes in between, it should take you honestly like five to 10 minutes. It doesn't take that long and it's a great ab workout. So yeah, I'll see you guys later with my dinner. All right guys, so now it's about 10 o'clock. I just finished my little late night snack. I had a protein shake and some rice cakes. So I just figured out that the video that I was editing for this week, my microphone was off for the whole video. So that's very tough guys. It was a banger, not gonna lie. Like it was a really good video. Basically I just made anabolic chocolate donuts, healthy donuts. They're pretty good, but you know, there goes that. That video scratched. So now, I'm graduating from high school. I have nothing to do in the morning. So I get to stay up super late to edit this video so it can come out on Thursday. Luckily though, in that video, the audio that wasn't corrupted or off or whatever was for the prom proposal that I did for my girlfriend. So I'm just gonna throw that footage at the end of this video because it's pretty cool and it's a good memory to have. Hope you guys enjoy that. That's gonna be coming up after this. Make sure you guys follow my fitness Instagram and TikTok at Jacob Fit. And also make sure you leave a like and subscribe, guys. You know, these videos are a lot of fun to make, but they do take a lot of time. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys support me and leave a like, subscribe. And yeah, enjoy the promposal. Peace out. Aubrey is in town, guys. And so I just did a promposal and we just ate dinner. So I'll show you guys real quick the setup before she tries the anabolic chocolate donut. Anabolic. Anabolic, baby. Not catabolic, anabolic. So walking down first, you got some a blue rug and it's supposed to represent water because we met in a lake. So then, we got a nice little table. We got some stars flashing around. This right here, Lakewood Dock. That is the location of where we acquired each other's presence. A weird way to say where we met, but what? oh well. <laughs> we got the pink roses. That's our favorite flowers. And then we got this sign. When the stars aligned, our souls met. Under these stars, I promise to love you with all my heart. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> because when I followed my heart, it led me to you and the stars shine down on us prom what was your answer again yes i actually cried so justin was trying to get my reaction and he was kind of like standing here and i was like you know standing here reading it and i read it once and i was like oh no like you know when you just know the waterworks are gonna happen yeah i just knew so <laughs> yeah. then i turned around and i was like uh, i just started crying and he didn't get his little video that he ah doing, it's but. fine it's fine <laughs> we, we enjoyed the dinner here we got a little star shower in the background they're twinkling we have a starry night what is it what is this called star shooter what what like the thing oh, in I the sky know. i don't know but the i got reason, it on amazon so the reason we got stars was because when we were there we met with our friends and we all talked about the stars the whole time and like all the different constellations and we downloaded a little star map i think that's true yeah yeah and i'm pretty sure i said like showed her what pegasus was i was just naming a bunch of like stuff i just didn't even know what they were to Which be honest with you guys but you even see it yeah, I didn't even have my glasses on. So I was just like, yeah, that's Pegasus or whatever. So yeah, guys, if you can see right there, that little cluster, that is Pegasus. That is Sagittario, and yeah. Next up, where we ate dinner. So we both had Hawaiian bros. We already ate because that was actually where we had our first date. Yes, and Justin picked me up wearing a SpongeBob mask. I did, yeah. <laughs> that was also when I found out that SpongeBob was gay. Yeah, and he that's like the first thing he told me. He was like, hey, you want to go to Hawaiian bros? Did you know SpongeBob's gay? He, like, hey, what? pride, man. <laughs> pride. We got a little tipsy. Oh, just kidding it's white monster and then she got her uh i got her a celsius peach vibe you feeling it no i need yeah. to drink more of it there's her uh hawaiian bros half eaten <laughs> actually guys may be confused on why there is a sign that says snake or log and then a little snake right here with the chick-fil-a bag the night that we meant we were in the lake like i said we saw like a log or something no it was a snake snake log we never we never really knew we, we were all like what is that log and we all swam to the dock and swam back out and swam to the dock like a hundred times we did and so aubrey had chick-fil-a and she had some chicken nuggets she didn't eat so we just started throwing them at the snake i think you <laughs> ate them did you eat the chicken nuggets <laughs> so there's chicken nuggets in here there's snake or log sign so yeah put two and together you throw the 
the chicken nugget at the snake. Okay, can I explain this? Yes. This is my favorite story of all time, and I still love to bug Justin about it all the time. So it says shooting star. Hey, guys. We were just sitting in the lake, like all chatting, vibing, as Justin would say, vibrating. Vibrating, yeah. And he goes, oh my gosh, guys, look at that shooting star. And we were like, where? And he was like, right there, it's still going. And we were like, what? And all of us could see. And we are like, Justin, that's an airplane. And he, honest to God, thought that the airplane was a shooting star. And it was just about the funniest thing that any of us <laughs> have ever encountered. You have no glasses on, you're blind, and you just see this bright flash going through the sky. It looks like a shooting star. It looks like one. So, yeah, that is what the plane signifies. So, yeah, a lot of symbolism. Shout out my English teacher, symbolism. That was my highlight of my year. I used it on every single essay I wrote. Symbolism and imagery. So, here we go. <laughs> and tone. I don't know how tone is here, but... Set the tone with the candle, if you know what I'm saying. The lights, yeah. It looks a lot cooler at night. I might just show like the night times. I took one last night, just kind of everything. But yeah, this has been um my little proposal. She said no, of course. Of course. She said no, so yeah, rejection. 